My name is Mariel Beasley. I'm co-director of the Common Sense Lab, which is a behavioral science research lab at Duke University in the United States. And we work with financial institutions to figure out where can they sort of use this, these insights from behavioral science to infuse their products and services to help their clients, members, users uh, save more, pay down debt faster, uh, manage their cash flow better, and uh, when necessary, also increase earnings. So cost benefit means how much effort do I have to put in for what kind of benefit? So really what we do is get into the system to figure out where are all the points of friction, where are all the opportunities where we can infuse additional benefits. Um, and we do sort of this, what we call a behavioral audit to figure out what is it that is potentially these sort of human biases that are potentially preventing your clients, your users, et cetera, uh, from actually completing the action that you think that they ought to do. And then we take these insights from the behavioral science and figure out where can we put them in, where can we plug them into the system to help more people move along that path and to complete that action. I think it's really important to think about the behavioral process within and sort of what influences behavior when trying to do anything around financial health because this is a place where the individual behavior is so important. Um, if you want to encourage somebody's increased financial health, you're asking them to change behavior. You're asking them to save more. You're asking them to spend down debt faster. You're asking them to give up something today, some immediate good gratifying thing right now for this sort of long-term intangible benefit. And this is actually a very difficult thing to ask people to do. And the research shows that just telling people this is important and just trying to give them education doesn't actually work. What actually works is changing the environment that they're operating in, you, bringing in social proof when you can, changing defaults when you can, reducing friction costs, um, using loss aversion, sort of all of these different behavioral principles, that that actually does move the needle. Whereas financial education, unfortunately, there's very little evidence that that does anything to change behavior on its own. MetLife is our founding uh, partner with, with the Common Sense Lab and they've been a wonderful partner to work with. And so in five years, what I would love to see and hope is that through this partnership and work with MetLife Foundation, that we are seeing just an incredible proliferation of organizations that are using behavioral science embedded within products and systems to really encourage better financial behavior um, for the most vulnerable citizens of that country.